Greetings and salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei. Today, we're gonna to be doing some web scraping. Bitcoin data from a website using ChatGPT, Code Interpreter, and Jupyter Notebooks. Let me show you how to do it. If you just boldly ask ChatGPT to help you with web scraping, can you help web scraping? It won't be able to help you with your scraping activity. So you need to find ways around it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, let's quickly look at the site which we're gonna scrape. It's a cool little website over here that gives you Bitcoin stats. We're just gonna head on over to the wealth distribution. We're gonna scrape this table, which shows you the wealth distribution of all the Bitcoin in circulation. First thing that you do is you right click on you and you say save as and you just save it as a HTML file. Now, as far as ChatGPT is concerned, we're gonna use GPT-4, we're gonna use Code Interpreter to enable that, go to settings and beta and go to your beta features and switch Code Interpreter on. Once you have that, we have a little option here that you can basically submit a specific file. So we're just gonna say, take a file, we're gonna choose the file. All right, so now that the file is loaded, which is that HTML file we just loaded in there, you can start interacting with the data. From the HTML file, extract values from the table with table headers and store in a pandas data frame. Add a column to the data frame with the current date and time in the format day day month, month, year, year, year. I'll give it some clues to the table. So let's quickly head on back. So we can just right click here, say inspect. You can see this is from a table. This table is called table condense. I just copy that element. This is the table reference. And I just paste that in there here. And then you just basically say go. And it's gonna start going. Just check it out, it's so cool. And then show work. Shows you the code it's busy running. You see the thinking there. Very cool, very cool. Timestamp, head. All right, so we have the data. Did a pretty good job first time around. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take this data frame, the percentage of addresses, and split it by that delimiter. For data, data frame, DF, you can see it called it DF, data frame DF. For the column, and I just say column is address percentage, split by that little character over there. All characters before delimiter remain in the column and converted to percentage. And everything after delimiter can be dropped. Let's see what it says. So it's cleaning up the columns for us. Let's see what it does. Show work. See, it found a little mistake in itself and it's now trying to fix it. It's pretty cool. It's something you would have gone through. Show work. So it's saving you all that time. All right. Let's quickly see. So it's actually split that out. Now we have the percentages as decimals. Pretty cool. Next up, I wanna take this coins column and remove the BTC. So let's say for the data frame DF, the column coins, remove the string and convert to data type decimal, round to two decimals. See what it does. So now it's gonna clean that column up for us as well. All right, so the last thing I wanna just clean up is this percentage of coins. And so just check what it does. Go. Okay. So it gave us our percentages in decimals. All right, so that's perfect. Save data frame to CSV file called CSV. Show work. Beautiful. All right, so now we head on over to Data Spell, which is Jupyter Notebook, and I'm just gonna paste the things in there and test what ChatGPT gave me. So I'd import my libraries first. See, we need to do the beautiful soup library. We need to declare our headers. So we declare our headers. 
So you'll notice that ChatGPT didn't really want to help me with web scraping because I refer to the local HTML files. You need to do all of these steps now. You need to request. We first have the header set. I'm going to point to that specific URL and I'm going to create a new variable where I call the request starter class for request and get a specific URL using the headers. All right, and I'm going to parse it with beautiful soup. So once we get to this stage, this is now where we can start pasting the chat GPT code. All right, first part that they gave me, it said, find a tape. That's directly from chat GPT. Cool. We extract the headers, we extract the rows. So it found the table, we found the headers, we found the rows. Now it's going to create a data frame. Here's the data frame. It identifies a date time for the current date time. And let's see what the data frame looks like. Pretty, pretty good. So we basically scraped all the information we want from all of the columns using the chat GPT code. Pretty, pretty cool. Next thing we're going to do, start doing the cleanups that I asked for. We basically applied this. And you can see address has now been split. Beautiful. And it's now in a decimal format. Second thing we wanted to do is we wanted to take this Bitcoin column and remove the Bitcoin out of there. It removed the Bitcoin out of there. Pretty cool. Next one was said so far so good. It works 100%. Now for this coins also split it out. So for the coins, we said that as well. There we go. The percentage are quite small. So zero shows it as zero. And then finally, we asked it to save it, copy it in there. So now if I look at the file, open the file, it is perfect in every way. So I hope this video helped you to see how you can use ChatGPT to scrape easily from any place you want to. Um, it's pretty cool. It really blew my mind when I saw this and I'm like, well, this is pretty powerful stuff. It's saving me a lot of time getting data from the web. BA Sensei out.